Hi, welcome back to the Spirit's Path. This is D, and today's tarot card of the day, out of the Wildwood Tarot deck, is the Seer. It's another major arcana card, and we've got uh, four of them, three of them, out right now. All right, and um, you know this was this was after you know last week where you had some challenges, some obstacles, and the week before that you had all the court cards. So you've got a lot of people talking with you here, but uh, you know we haven't talked about the Seer lately so uh, let me just go over this here um, like the shaman the seer here uh, is able to use all the elements she's got all the elements there with her okay and she wears the cloak of wisdom in what she does is she draws on that wisdom of the world tree and which is behind her okay um, the seer speaks in riddles so you know you really have to be listening intently in analyzing what it is she has to say but if you listen to what she does say all right it will give you wisdom for your journey that you're on your spiritual journey okay now the seer represents insight and stillness from within so she's going to touch on things um, that maybe your intuition's talking about okay she's going to touch on things that maybe you have an inkling of which way to go or you know a person to talk to or something like that and um she acts as a guide to the soul for the manifestation of creative and artistic work. Whereas the shaman is acts as a goal for just manifesting, manifesting anything that's out there. Creative, artistic, emotional, uh, security, stability, however you want to look at it. So, you know, whereas the shaman is, is kind of got that masculine divinity going on the seer has the feminine divinity going on all right and she is the inspiration for music or writing to help create change in the world so focus your power on the seer and let it flow and you can focus on on the green man and the shaman you know these are some very major arcana cards that have come out to help you in your walk okay manifest that inner spirit to help bring joy and pleasure to others that's what the seer is asking you to now you know when i was meditating on this card one of the things that also came up was um nurturing the seer is also a nurturing you know you can manifest that nurturing energy as well with her and she's going to nurture you along the path now we've had a lot of uh masculine figures come up within the last couple weeks you know you had those couple knights not that knights can't be females but uh um you know they could represent females within your life both that knight of arrows and that knight of bows that fox but you, you know you did have the queen of vessels out there as well you know i look at that as a feminine card because it's a queen and then you had the king of vessels too um you know, but recently you've had the shaman, the green man, you had the, uh, the wood woes and the nine of bows come out, the respect. You know, to me, that's all masculine energy that's coming through. And maybe that masculine energy coming through for you is to, you know, take on that, uh, that artistic avenue, all right, to, to, you know, put things into action, all right, to, um, not necessarily, you know, keep your emotions in, all right, but, you know, have some fire action, have that logic action as you're moving forward, okay? So, you know, while the seer is sitting there giving you the wisdom, you know, that's behind her because of the cloak and everything like that, and, uh, you know, she's peering into the pool, all right, which is water energy, so, you know, there's some psychic energy is there as well, all right? And, you know, take on that aspect of the seer, and, you know, I spoke yesterday of, you know, take a glass of water and set it out on your table and, you know, just, just gaze into that. You know, if it's rippling or, you know, from a house moving or something like that, just, you know, gaze into that to understand, you know, how that water energy is helping you heal and helping you uh, be reborn. All right. And we talked about that yesterday with that eight of vessels, that rebirth card. All right. And, you know, Again, you know, you have the, the river flowing into the pool and flowing out of the pool. And, it, you know, the water is filling those cups up, you know, above the tree line, into the big cup and into the, into the, into the river. But if you drink of those cups, all right, and have that water of life moving through you, it's almost like you're peering into that pool like that Sierra was doing here just a couple, 
you know, let me hold that back up. As Sarah's peering into the pool, she's meditating on that emotional energy, on what's going on. You know, and with that, you know, the green man. The green man, you know, this is number card number four. The only difference between, you know, this is card number two, the shaman's number one. All right, so these are very important figures on your spiritual journey. And the green man is, you know, is, is there to let you know, hey, I'm with you in this forest. All right, I'm walking through this with you, and you know I can help you manifest whatever it is you want. All right, you have the nine of bows, respect. That wood woes come out and says, you know what? Respect your walk, respect yourself as you're moving forward, respect the people that you come across. Okay, because you started on that journey. You know that was card number zero. You know, and then you had all these court cards come through. You know, and greet you at the campfire. Night of the night of eels comes through, all right, and um, you know he's you know trying to give you that that fighter tactician, but he's also got his emotions on his sleeve, and uh, you've got two vessels cards up here, so you know vessels are are predominant, all right. Maybe this is an emotional time for you, all right. But let that wisdom that the the uh, the seer has, you know, cloak you. On your journey, you've met the number one guy, the shaman, and then you met his wife, the seer. Both of these together are very powerful cards, okay? The shaman's there to help manifest whatever it is you want, and the seer is, is, is trying to help guide your soul, okay? So whatever that manifestation is, you know, and pair that with the green man to help nurture all that activity. All that creativity. So whatever it is that you know you're set for on your on your uh, spiritual journey, you've got a lot of people looking out for you on this journey. The shaman, the seer, the green man. Uh, you know, three knights protecting you as you're walking down down your spiritual path. All right. And sure, there may be a challenge that's out there. Okay, after last week, but maybe that challenge is ebbing ebbing now. All right, maybe somebody's, now maybe somebody's jealous of what you've done, all right, because you're able to to take in this, this seer energy, all right? You took in that green man energy. You took in some of that shaman energy. You're manifesting, you know, things for you as you're moving forward. I just, I just have to go back to the shaman, the shaman and the seer, these two cards. Yeah, they're five days apart, but they haven't come up in the same week. It's just powerful. It's a powerful, powerful reading. And then the green man on top of that. And, it, you know, uh, he's got, you know, they both have all the elements. Air, stone, water, and fire. And, you know, if if you focus on the shaman and you, and you manifest, try, you know, ask for manifesting whatever your heart's desire. The seer is going to come through, all right, internally and talk to your spirit and talk to your soul and understand, you know, what's going on with your soul on your soul journey. So that's today's message of the day, the seer. Uh, hit that like button for me, subscribe to the channel and uh, share it with others. And leave your comments down below. And this is D for the Spirit's Path and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care, God bless and stay safe everybody.